All right, we're looking at question 39. It says a phase of the moon is shown below. All right, here we go. Uh, let's brainstorm real quick. What moon phase do we have? Well, it's definitely a quarter moon because half of the moon is lit up. Is it first or third? Well, light is on the right. So this is our first quarter moon. Uh, and then it says, which pair of diagrams shows the moon phases immediately before and immediately after this phase? Well, let's think about this because if my recommendation would be to draw the moon phases just on your own to show here's the sun and here's our new moon and then first quarter, full moon, third quarter. If you get this far, you know the moon's moving in a counterclockwise direction. Here's our Earth. All right, so between these two phases, you would see a waxing crescent. Right, so we're dark, new moon, a little bit of light on the right, more light on the right, and then we have a waxing gibbous, almost full moon, right? Just a little bit of sliver left dark. All right, so this kind of covers us because we know this and this correspond. So we're actually looking for a waxing crescent and a waxing gibbous. Let's see if we can find those in our answer choices. Waxing on the light. Light is always on the right. So, as you can see in our little diagram we drew, our light has to be on the right hand side. So, right, this would be a before? No, because before we said it needs to be a waxing crescent. So this is already out here. Uh, well, if the crescent was on this side, we might have even considered this one, but this is a waning crescent. The light is not on the right. That's out. Here we go. We have a waxing crescent. Looks good. And looky there, a waxing gibbous. So those were the ones we were looking for. We're going to check the last one. This, no, this is a waning gibbous, and that's our full moon. So there you go. Our answer choice is C.